Greetings and salutations everyone out there on YouTube. This is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center. You can find us online at alamomusic.com and you can always find us here in beautiful, sunny San Antonio, Texas near the Riverwalk in our historic store downtown. So today we are bringing you some more goodies from the NAMM show. This is a continuation of some videos we've been shooting with uh, some new stuff from Fender in their acoustic line. They're refining their acoustic line and kind of setting it up in segments. This falls under their California series. The idea is that they've taken some classic designs but pulled them out of what they call their classic series and given them some West Coast flavor when it comes to the design. This is the newest version of the T-Bucket 300 CE. Now the T-Bucket's been around for a while and if you've seen one of the previous ones, the T-Bucket was kind of uh, pinstriped hot rod inspired. And this one has a bit more of a, I'm gonna call it a Neo Art Deco design to it. And that's from the headstock up here to the rosette and all of the inlay. Uh, they haven't really given it a specific design name yet on Fender's website, but I'm gonna go with a, uh, like I said, Neo Art Deco Nouveau design, uh, which I think is great. The headstock's a little bit bigger than on their classic series. The inlays, the inlay on the headstock and the rosette all have this great design to it. The uh, bridge, which uh, is kind of a mustache shaped bridge, Fender's actually calling their Viking bridge. So if you look at it, it kind of looks like a Viking ship. Um, these guitars feature an all laminate construction. So it's laminate mahogany back and sides with a laminate flamed maple top and that maple uh, continues up on the headstock as well, which will copy the burst of whatever color you get. Now this one is called natural, but obviously it's basically a natural burst, I think is what they're going for. Um, it's also available in two other colors. This guy right here, which is cherry, it's a trans cherry burst, uh, which is very, very cool. And the inlay kind of changes to match the finish there around the rosette. And then there's also, really what's a uh, like a faded black burst uh, that they call Midnight Burst, which is pretty cool. So these are great guitars. The, the um, previous models of, of the um, Hot Rod or the T-Bucket uh, guitars are great. I like the changes that they've done to it. In addition to the look, uh, they've done some changes under the hood as well. So since it's a laminate construction guitar, it features scalloped bracing so that it's a little bit more resonant than it otherwise would be owing to the stiffness of the laminate construction. The tuners on this oversized headstock up here um, are an open back kind of butterbean design. They are very uh, firm, well, not firm feeling. What's the word I'm looking for? They feel really good. They feel substantial, not like they're going to break or that they're, you know, uh, fragile in any way. So they've got a nice substantial feel in your hand. They turn real well. They tune real well. I like these tuners. I hope they put them on some more models. And uh, of course they're topping it off with a Fishman pickup system to complement the cutaway on the body here. Now according to Fender's website, they call this an orchestra model. We're not exactly sure why. It's a dreadnought as far as I'm concerned. But it's Fender's orchestra model in their California series, I suppose. Uh, if that's incorrect, hopefully Fender will get that fixed. But it's a good size body. It's got some nice depth to it on the low end, given the body size. But it's not too big. It's still really comfortable sitting in your lap. So we're gonna put this through its paces so you can hear what it sounds like. Um, I will say this, it feels really good in the hand. It's a slim C profile on the neck, 25.3 uh, inch scale length. They're using Graph Tech New Bone saddle and nut. Um, and the radius is just a little bit rounder on this. It, it comes in a skosh under a 12 inch radius, whereas most of their guitars, most acoustics out there on the market are 12 inch radius. So it feels a little bit rounder on the hand, particularly when you're doing some chords. All in all, I think this guitar is really designed for someone who, you know, likes that rock and roll feel, probably plays a lot of electric guitar and is looking for an acoustic guitar to complement them up on the stage with the pickup and the nice feel, it's gonna do that well. So let's give it a listen to.
We hope you enjoyed our review of the new Fender T-Bucket 300 CE. These guitars are now available in stock and at a price of $299, they really are a great value if you are looking for a good looking acoustic electric guitar from a reputable builder that's great to play and sounds good. If you have any questions on the pricing or the availability of these models, go to our website, alamomusic.com, come in and see us, give us a call or send us an email. We want to help you find the perfect guitar to fit your needs and help you discover music in your life. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.